In this video I want to cover uh, adding custom footers to your website. So there are a number, as with anything WordPress, there are a number of options and again it's going to depend on the theme you use and I'll show you uh, two different themes and two different ways of doing this. The first is I'm, I'm in my Genesis Framework uh, website here and what I do here for uh, footers, and this is going to be unique to Genesis, so I'll show you another site that it's a little bit more of a universal approach to footers. Uh, we don't have a footer option here, but what we do have is we have a Genesis Simple Hooks. And what I do here is th this is not something you're going to find in any theme other than Genesis by Studio Press. But what it has is it has a footer section down at the bottom and I just put in my basic HTML and that gives me my footer at the very bottom which links to anything I want to put there and have my copyright there. The other option is here I'm back in that uh, free business theme called Squirrel. Now if you don't have under some themes do offer this under the options they'll have a footer section so check that first uh, to input footer information if it's not there what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to hard code it in the editor uh, now this is a little bit more tricky especially if you're not familiar with coding and you may need to contact support of the theme that you're using to get help with this and what I've done here is I've hard coded this right here so I've entered my copyright and then my links and you can see that they're down here now if you're in here and you're looking at all this uh, code and wondering well where do I even begin most themes will have a default header usually powered by WordPress and mentions the theme what you can do is you can do a search and so we could you could search for the exact anchor text of the words in the header or the footer in this remember we're in the, in the footer PHP and you can find that and it will be wrapped around some code you might not be familiar with but you can find it and so that's how I found it here and then what I do is I remove the uh, the code for the default footer and input my own um, you're going to have to be careful with this. Always, always, always save the original code uh, before you do anything and uh, so you can add that back to the theme. You may have to go through your uh, your cPanel to do that. Um, you know, and if you're really just not sure, then ask support for how to do it for your particular theme. Now, that's going for footers at the very bottom of a site like this. The other options are and this is uh, great, is you can go to your widgets. Now look at this. A lot of themes these days are going to offer widget areas. They're called photo widget areas. And this one has, this is the squirrel theme. This is that free business theme I was using. And this has three, so it's their uh, one-third width of the uh, theme each. And you can input custom menus, you can input text, you can input anything you want here. And so you don't have to worry about hard coding it. Now I opted not to put uh, anything in these footer areas and hard coded, but you can do it the other way. And the uh, Genesis site does the same. Here now I'm back in the, the Genesis framework site. And this too has footer widgets. More and more themes uh, these days are offering footer widgets. So, you know, that makes it easier. And our widget page is loaded, and I have four widget areas down here, so that means they're one-fourth width across, and you can put whatever you want in those for your footer. So that's pretty much it with your footer. Again, uh, every theme is going to be a little bit different, and you're going to have to explore that, but this video uh, pretty much sets out the, the main ways that you're going to uh, be able to customize your footer.